Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. The correct answer, of course, to the peace and power question is... The Rook. And here we are. Not that many Rooks hanging out over here. Well, that's just how they decorated the room. And my name is Rook. I've been waiting a worthy challenger for some time. If you have the power to defeat me, you may go on to meet our Queen. And Battle 70U, apostrophe. <laughs> To battle me, you'll need to wager either 30 or 50 chips. You understand? Have you the courage to fight me? No. Really want to battle? Line Don 7080. <laughs> no, I'm not going to refrain. So you're ready to battle. Yes. How many chips do you wager? 5 DCA 7080, of course. Actually, it's 50 AT. There we go. I'll take your 50 chips. My 50 Sarka. And prepare yourself. I fight the five prize cards. Ooh! The Colorless Energy Deck. And as you know, with colorless Pokemon, it's pretty, pretty easy to power them up if you're loading it with double colorless energy and stuff like that. But, you know, you can't do energy retrieval and stuff like that. So you still want some regular energy re cards if you want to use stuff like energy retrieval rather than like the potion energy, full heal energy, or cycle energy, stuff like that. Uh, that's a iffy opening hand, but gonna have to deal and feel the prize cards. I must predict which card I will get from them somehow, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I got a Jiggly. That's pretty nice. And Pound. So I got double colorless energy immediately for that Jiggly if I would like to. Uh, I don't know if I should though. Is that s I mean, I have a bunch of turns to do so, you know? So I think I'm just gonna go with regular water energy and then use the double colorless for whatever I need to power up very quickly as a surprise. And ooh, Fero. That could be a problem. Drill dive, it may do nothing if Tails. Tails did not fail. Alas, alas. So I guess we're heading over to Jigglypuff. <laughs> Kinda don't have much of a choice there. And energy removal. Double colorless. Water energy on the Jiggly. I wonder if I, I wonder if I should use it on the other water as well, just in case of another double colorless, you know? You know? It just almost seems like a waste, though. But at the same time, it would also prevent damage from Jigglypuff of just the quick attack in general, unless it's got double cuddless anyway, so... Oh wait, why am I not attacking? <laughs> I was brain farting there, I was gonna go to done like my turn was done, but no. No, okay, so he's going for the powering up of others. So, wait, wait, if he's gonna do that... Wait, what's the retreat cost? It's free, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, man. It's probably gonna do use this free switch anyway to go into Spiro. Uh, so I might as well pound them. <laughs> Try and get a prize card that's hopefully some basic Pokemon or Professor Oak. Alright, let's feel it! Let's feel it! This mm -hmm. mm -hmm. one. Oh, Pokemon Trader. That could be something. And powering up Dratini. And Fury Attack could do up to 20, but it's probably going to do 10 based on the averages. So he's like one heads, one tails, typically. Uh, I should, so I shouldn't say always. Okay, I got a seal. Uh, do I even want a Pokemon Trader then? Because I, I think we're good now. <laughs> I think I have successfully stalled out long enough. Oh, she seemed happy with that draw. And I would be too, it's Bill. You can never be too disappointed with Bill. <laughs> Actually, I'm never disappointed with Bill. You always get something, uh, and, you know, it's, it's pot of greed for Pokemon. Right, so we're gonna get the KO on the Spiro. So we gotta focus on getting something. Ooh! Gotta focus on getting something good going on the side here. Uh, I don't. I really don't want to discard that. You know what I mean? Let's just pound the spear roll. We're, we're good for now. So, if she... You know, he puts two energy cards on one Pokemon, I'll 
super energy removal. Oh, Moonstone. He's gonna get get some uh, Dragonair action in there. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> that's what I thought. Um, I would put Moonstone in this deck for the Dragonair and Wigglytuff thing myself. But the thing about it is that it doesn't have the same versatility as Pokemon Trader. Because Pokemon Trader, while you do need to have one Pokemon in your hand to use it, so that you can trade it back to the deck, unlike Moonstone, you can still use this to get anything out of your deck. So, and you know, you usually have another Pokemon to be able to use Pokemon Trader with, so I figured I'm probably better off keeping that as is. Uh, that Dugong, yeah, it's just too colorless. So I might as well put that on there. And... Yeah, Pwn. I still don't want to lose my super energy removal, you know? <laughs> and, alright, so powering up the other one on the side. So that means... Uh-huh. Prepare! To suck the energy and well, the recycle energy will go back to the hand, but uh, might as well do that. And actually, should I trade it into a Wiggly? I don't think so, though, because this Jigglypuff is kind of low on health. You know what I mean? All right, let's pound. I'm still kind of waiting on the. I love Professor Oaks, because I, I'm in good position right now, so I don't really need to kind of force out anything there. So yeah, no attack there, because it requires three energy cards. And go for that. And pound. I'll take four pounds, or I go into Dugong and just knock it out outright. Oh, oh, oh! Surprise double color. Oh! He and the special delivery to boots! <laughs> So, let's see if that the drawing will go, and it did. No. <laughs> Can it do something? No, it did do something. <laughs> Alright, so the, the delivery has happened. The attack went through. That was like, probably one of the best moves I've seen in a while on opponent do. <laughs> in all honesty. Um, I'm gonna do super energy removal though. Of course. <laughs> and I guess I'll go for Ice Beam first, just to see for the coin flip's sake of seeing. Because it's gonna take two attacks and knock it out anyway. Just wanna see. Unless she just foils my plan with Defender or something. <laughs> and the card gets drawn. Energy removal happens on the gong. And yeah, I guess I win. <laughs> uh should I not attack and see what she's got. Like, I, I, I can afford that. I, I suppose I could. <laughs> I'll just Professor Oak and end the turn, I guess. Uh, okay, okay, I'll build, too, as well. Might as well. Wigglytuff, Water Energy, Jigglypuff. Uh, I don't even know if I should bother with energy removal, because it's just going to go back to her, the hand anyway, and so, yeah. And I'm... <laughs> <laughs> just to see what'll come of it. Because with the special delivery, just kind of getting all sorts of cards, you know, you know. Now we're gonna go energy removal. Just kind of stall out. Not the recycle energy, though. It'll just kind of a waste to do it that way. Alright, let's go for Wigglytuff. Done. <laughs> I'm giving all the chances here. I mean, I, I had a pretty bad start, but once I, once I, once I started catching up, it was just, it's kind of game over there. But just get one more Pokemon, just any, anything, special delivery, please, <laughs> and anything. I mean, I, I guess that would be nice if you could get that, but yeah, <laughs> it's not that big of a deal if you got it or not, you know. <laughs> um. I wonder if I should go trade into something. Maybe not. Actually, you know what? Wait, whoops. <laughs> you know what? Let's just go finish it off. <laughs> I mean, if it gets another supersonic flight, I might not be able to knock it out anyway, so maybe maybe I let it go too far. <laughs> 
So yeah, I, I had that game won turns ago anyway. I normally ad I nobly admit my defeats. 100 chippers! How about it? Challenge a queen. S with my magnificent, po <laughs> magnificent power, the door shall open. Yeah! The queen awaits you just ahead. The diary. Don't forget. Let's go. Dun 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 dun. Lots of queens. A lot of pawns have been traded in to make this room at the end of the board. How's it going? You won't talk to me from over there, will you? Alright! Oh, a challenger! It's quite a feat to make it to my throne room, I must say. My wait is over. I can finally put this dueling table to use. Wait. You haven't had any other opponents? I, I, huh? I find that hard to believe based on the decks I've faced so far. This is the dungeon's final battle. I am known as Queen. Baos, 120N. I'm afraid to say that this castle has no king, unfortunately. It's gotta be Villasini. However, you should find me more than tough enough. Well, the queen is the most powerful piece, although the king is... theoretically the most important piece. You may wager either 50 or 100 chips in a battle against me. You mean Wales. 120V, are you, or 120U, are you prepared for the climactic finale? No. So you'd rather not duel and instead leave the dungeon? No. <laughs> then you'd like to have a duel with me? No. So you'd rather not duel it? <laughs> okay, okay, fine, fine. How many chips will you wager? I'll go with the fold. We save and everything. Finally, a true card battle! Best of luck to you, warrior! Sit down in the chair opposite of me and we shall start our match. Alright, I've wagered my 100 Biote, and we are in. We shall fight using six prize cards. Powerful Pokemon deck! Yeah, she uses a lot of basic Pokemon, if I recall correctly, that are like those ultra powerful ones, such as Scyther, Hitmonchan, you know, the, the ones that you really want to have in your opening hand. Ooh, that's. This is looking similar to the last game. I might not be able to afford that. Uh, she gets Hitmonchan to start out with. Oh, okay, she has Jinx. Um, I guess I'll go go and pound immediately then. Uh, just, yeah, just to try and get a one up on her if possible. Oh no, there it is. <laughs> that could be a problem for my Jiggly. Okay, I got Dratini. That doesn't have the weakness that Jiggly has. Um, wait, wait, hold on a sec. Why don't you pound? You have the fire... Pardon? Anyway, I got Dragonair waiting, so Hitmonchan will hopefully be easy enough, hopefully. Oh no, there's... <laughs> nah, we're, we're, I think we're good now. Alright, here we go. And pound. Yeah, like, why? I don't understand... Why she's not pounding? Is this... Unlock the buzz? Okay, maybe she doesn't use Scyther, but she does have a... Oh, wow. <laughs> and Rainbow Energy, it's gonna cause 10 damage, but that's still a handy energy type to have. Um... Mm. By the way, that's what Rainbow Energy looks like on a Pokemon. See that symbol? Yep. Anyway. Um... Yeah, I definitely should go there. And finish off. So just gonna put in the Hitmonchan, do a poop ton of damage, Jigglypuff. I know, I know how it's gonna work. Yep. <sighs> exactly what I would have done. <laughs> uh, I could use some energy removaling powers, though. That would be, that'd be pretty nice. Just in general. Thank you. <laughs> you have answered my prayer. Uh, I just want to get rid of the lightning energy, which is technically the rainbow energy on that Electabuzz. They're gonna retreat to the Dratini, go into, whoops, go into Dragonair. I wonder if I should trade into something, though, like maybe get a Wigglytuff set up? Maybe? At the very least, I'm gonna Hyper Beam this Fighting Energy off and hope she does not have any more Fighting Energy. <laughs> It'd be kind of nice, or Rainbow Energy for that matter, but she, you know, four copies of Rainbow Energy, she's bound to get another one. Just like how you see me get multiple Professor Oaks in a duel, or multiple Bills, stuff like that. 
Uh, yeah, I might just go for the Wiggly, as long as I have the opportunity. I don't know if it's the best choice, but that's what I'm going for. And I can't really Hyper Beam any energy away, so- DANG IT! <laughs> I SWEAR IT WAS COIN FLIPS! <laughs> Everyone's using a Game Sharp against me! Alright, let's go. Wiggly Tough. Energy on that. And slam. Could I get one Hez, please? Thank you. And then I can finish it off with Hyper Beam to guarantee the KO, but I just wanted to see if I could KO it earlier. Because it was, if it takes three Hyper Beams anyway, to take out the Hitmonchan. I do not like how what she's setting up here, though. <laughs> Let me tell you. Alright, Hyper Beam. But I, I mean, I, I got him! Gotta get those prize cards. See if I can get something good out of them. Uh, I could use a Professor Oaks, speaking of Professor Oaks. But and she's gonna be thunder punching that dragon air, which could knock it out in two turns, depending on if she gets two head flips. Uh, so tails, so I am going to be sucking that energy out with hyper beam. Uh, you know, lightning energy. Because then it will not be able to attack. Unless she's got another lightning, but I <laughs> um Alright. Hyper Beam, as promised, electric energy, not uh, lightning energy, and take that out. Hopefully, we have successfully stalled. Yeah, she's got a lot of energy types. That's kind of her dex weakness as a result of that, because, yeah, you got the lightning, you got the psychic fighting, fire. It's just... So, if you keep knocking out the key energy types, it kind of locks her down from being able to use her Pokemon. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I keep saying anyway a lot here, but I got the double colorless, but I think I'm going to want to save that. I'll hyper beam the psychic energy just for the sake of safety, because then Thunder Punch cannot happen. So... Ooh, we're in good shape now. She's not attaching energy. That Electabuzz can't attack, nor can the Hitmonchan, because it requires very specific energy to them. So... Guarantee the knockout with Hyper Beam. No freaking coin flips. <laughs> oh, Professor Oak. Nice. And there's a bill. We might get a Fighting or Rainbow Energy out of that. Ooh, Magmar. Ah, it's a nice staller she's got there. But it's not really, be really any energy for it, but it's a nice staller indeed. Um. Definitely want to fill up my bench since I'll be Professor Oaking. Should I go for another Dragonair? That is possible for me to do. <laughs> I could, and you know, just like trade into it before I use the Professor Oak, but not not right now, of course, because I, I I don't want to discard it or, or discard the Pokemon Trader. But you know what I mean? Just basically fill up the bench for the future. Okay, now she's got something from Magmar. So maybe maybe it will be a good idea to get another ace going here. If I, yeah, I was going to say, if I have it in my deck. It was only four cards away, so I could have Professor Oak for it, but I didn't know when it was coming. <laughs> uh, I'll just Professor Oak. I, I think I'm good with the Hyper Beam right now. So the Super Energy removal will be okay discarded at this time, especially since she doesn't have that much energy in general. Mm, energy removal, of course, on that Magmar. Mm, I don't know if I want to use that on the Electabuzz. I guess I probably should in case of Thunder Punches. And... It's guaranteed damage 20. <laughs> No coin flip until the next turn! You mean game, you. Okay, switch to Magmar, I guess, to be defensive, and nothing. So, I think. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, I think we've got this game won, but. Just never know! You could turn it around since those basic Pokemon are so resilient. I actually got two head flips out of that experiment. I thought I was only gonna get one or zero again, but no. It, it made up for itself. You have brought the average back up to normalcy. Yeah, let's go for the Lapras and Hyper Beam guaranteed KO. And there we go. 
Woof! Seal. Don't really need. But I guess it's nice to have backup. And she's got a lot of these high HP, good basic Pokémon, but just not much structure. It, it, like, you see, I, I'm very focused in my deck uh, in terms of the strategy, but because of her energy distribution, it's kind of kind of iffy. It's like she needs them to be more streamlined so she has the energy that she needs, I would say. Like, just knock it down to, say, three energy types max. So it's just... Yeah, and then have the rainbow energy just in case as well, anyway. And... Let's do that. I guess I'll do that for the fun of it. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, let's go for this. <laughs> nope. And... Yep. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> uh, she seemed happy with that. It's a bill. Hopefully it's not a bill to... Like, I don't know, it's like she's being billed for cable or something, but... <laughs> I'll be hyper-beaming that off the Lapras. So she's gonna be only gonna be doing 10 damage for now. That's another thing, is that the Lapras requires very specific water energy. So yeah... Anyway. <laughs> Probably should go do that. On the Starmie, and... Bye bye water! <laughs> <laughs> just flushing it down the pooper. And the next slam will probably knock it out, or I'll just get two tails again and it'll, it'll make it. <laughs> just how things tend to go. Energy removal. Um, Hitmonchan, probably? I would say. Yeah, it happened. <laughs> and... Come on! <laughs> the average goes down again! <laughs> <laughs> Man, I should really stick to the Hyper Beam. Uh, and they're still taking two turns. So Energy Surge does help her a little bit. Pick the energy that she wants, but if I'm just Hyper Beaming anyway, or Energy Removing anyway, it's not that effective. <laughs> Maybe I should have went for the Slam, because chances are I wouldn't get four Tails in a row, but let's just see how things go, I suppose. Uh, Electabuzz, that's going to be Super Energy Removal, if I ever see one. <laughs> Hello there! Uh, which one should I discard off of? Probably Lapras, I would say. Because of the, uh... Uh, the Lapras can still attack, even if it's not not, not at full or anything like that. And star me, because I see I got that nice, shiny other energy card to go along with it in the future, so we are good for now. Speaking of shiny, there's another Lapras! Uh, that Electabuzz is probably not going to be... Oh, I was going to say, probably won't be able to attack, but it most certainly can. And the uh, heads it gets, so it survives the turn. Oh, man. Well, actually, it probably would have survived the turn anyway, because I'm not going to get two head flips anyway. <laughs> but I mean, it's energy survived the turn more than anything. Um, do that. Call it a turn. I mean, I got other Dragonair waiting in the wings, or the serpent, <laughs> and you're just gonna get heads all day on now, aren't ya? Aren't ya? <laughs> Probably will. Um, I'll just do that. Call it a turn. You can knock out that Dragonair, I suppose. Forget, take your first prize card, finally. <laughs> it took a while if you got your first prize card. I, I'm proud of you! <laughs> and, <laughs> and then Wiggly Toughest Game. Uh, I mean, I, I put anything on the bench if I wanted to power it up further. And, yeah, I might as well. <laughs> it was a long game in general, because all the high HP basics, but... And, and six prize cards to boot, but I, I didn't really lose control of that game whatsoever. I mean, even at the beginning, it was still... Still worked out pretty well. What an excellent battle! I concede defeats. You are indeed the warrior I've been waiting for. What strength! Well then, take your prize. 200 chips! And with that, I must bid you a fond farewell, brave hero. I do hope you'll come play again. You get so lonely back here. And bring your y boz as well. <laughs> I don't know why that text is glitchy. <laughs> it's 
220 CK earned you to defeat the Queen. Congratulations! You're free to come back and play again anytime. And that I will consider. But for now, I'm gonna save my game and end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we explore the Game Center a little bit.